Hello guys! Today we will be talking about the Monstera Deliciosa. It is by far one of the most popular household plants. It's pretty easy to take care of. We will be talking about this as well in the video and I will show you guys how to propagate it. So this is one of my propagations. I will show you how I did it, how the root system looks like now and we will even be planting it back into soil. So if you're interested in knowing or learning about those things, just stay tuned. So the Monstera Deliciosa is that kind of plant that really, it likes the sun. So I would definitely recommend putting it somewhere closer to the window. Um, with direct sun, be a bit careful. You don't want to like burn the leaves or just give it too much sun, but it definitely loves indirect sometimes even bright sun maybe like morning sunlight is better but the plant definitely loves sun so put it near to a window close to a window give it enough sun with the watering i water mine like once a week for sure with the watering like with every other house plant i would just say just check it like i take my finger i go into the soil some centimeters deep and i see how the soil feels like if it's super dry, if I feel like the leaves are getting more sad looking, then I'll just water it. As well, it's very important that the pot you have your Monstera in has to have drainage holes. So you don't want to over water it. And so it's really good if you have a pot that has holes in the bottom. So in case that you overwatered it and there's water sitting in the little pot, you can just dump it out so that your plant is not going to get overwatered. In my case with wine monstera, it signalized me once like the leaves turned kind of yellowish and I'm like, oh dang, I think I overwatered it. So you can, you can go with the flow. The plant will tell you what it needs really well. As well, most people love the monstera deliciosa because of its leaves. So you can see those beautiful cuttings here. Um, not every leaf has those. Um, this is a propagation that I took and I specifically took one where both of the leaves already had the cutting. So I knew that the growth that will, the new growth that will sprout from this cutting will have the cuttings. Like those cuttings, I mean. And it turned really out like this. This is the newest leaf and then it's perfectly beautiful. Like I think it's, it's a stunning leaf. Um, and so it's the same with the mother plants. Bigger leaves on top, they have those cuttings on the leaves but the other ones the smaller ones they don't have it which is fine so that's normal don't worry about it the leaves though form more of those cuttings if you bring the plant closer to the sun because the plant is actually like what i've heard at least it's actually from a rainforest so that's where it's native it grows up on trees and stuff like that and so the leaves can grow like the branches or the vines of the leaf can grow really high up the trees and when they reach the sunlight then that's when they will form those cuttings in the leaves so this plant as i said already before it really likes sun and the sun helps the leaves to just create this beautiful design as well so some of the smaller leaves um they don't have it they're just like a heart shaped form leaf but it's fine it's normal but if you realize that the bigger leaves your plant is shooting out and they still don't have the shape, maybe it's a signal that the plant needs more sunlight. So put it closer to the window for some weeks and see how it will do. And yeah, just give it a try. Overall, I would say it's, it's a pretty easy household plant to take care of. It might look um, really big and maybe more difficult to take care of, but it's not, it's quite easy, it's a quite simple plan. It's as well easy to propagate um, and I will show you how that goes as well. With fertilizing, I'm not that professional <laughs> with plants. It's, it's a hobby for me. So since I'm transitioning to a lower impact life, um, a zero waste more lifestyle, I actually use my banana peels and put them in a glass with water and let like close it up with a lid let it sit for like one or two days and that banana peel water can be used as a fertilizer so that's what i'm doing that's the fertilizer that i'm using um and i do it maybe once a month yeah that's it let's get into the propagation part 
Okay, the propagation part is really simple. It's, I'm gonna show it to you guys really quickly. So this, where I'm showing you guys, is exactly where you will need to cut. You need to cut maybe two or three centimeters below the aerial root. The aerial root is this little thing. It can be longer or shorter, all depending on your monstera, how it will look like. But you need this aerial root because this is needed for the roots to grow out. So just cut two or three centimeters below. It's really that simple. <laughs> And that's how it's gonna look like after you cut off your cutting. This is already healed, but your plant is just gonna continue growing and all is well. Now, after you have your cutting, you place it into water. And then you let it sit there for weeks and weeks and weeks until a root, a root system is being established, until roots are gonna grow out. Which clearly happened with this one. You can see the roots are insane. This has been in water now since over two months. So of course the roots are pretty crazy. At this point, there are definitely enough roots to put this beauty in a pot with soil. So the propagation process, for me at least, is done with this one. It even shooted out a whole new leaf. Um, and now it, it really needs soil. It even produced this new big aerial root here. Um, and I show you where I cut it. So here you can see this was the side where I cut it. So out of the cutting spot itself, there's no root growing. But then out of the aerial root that I showed you, where you need, like you need to have an aerial root because that's where the roots are gonna grow out. Um, so those you will definitely need. And then the roots will just establish itself. And at one point you'll have enough. And then you can get the pot of your choice. I actually just got a new pot. That's why I wanted to take this video because I wanted to plant this beautiful one in the new pot that I got. And yeah, so propagation, it just takes time. You need to be patient, but it's super rewarding because you will see the roots growing and it's just exciting. Um, and you can multiply your own plants for free. So isn't that cool? You can create your own jungle by just multiplying the plants that you already have. Or you can give them to others. It's also really fun, but yeah, so let's put this beauty in soil and see how she looks. And all you will need is your Monstera cutting, a pot, a nursery pot, a little shovel, and then the soil of your choice. I personally took a little rock and put it at the bottom of the pot so that later on when I'm gonna be watering it, it won't be leaking. Then I'm taking my houseplant soil mixture and I'm making sure to cover all the roots nicely. I press the soil a bit down just to give some stability to the plant and then I'm gonna water it thoroughly until the water even comes down, uh, comes out at the bottom. It's just important to make sure it's moist because it was in water for so many weeks now. And then look at it, mother and daughter together and that's just how it looks like, so beautiful. I hope you liked that video, that it was interesting, that you learned something new, that you might maybe even gonna propagate your own Monstera. If you already have one, if you don't have one yet, go get yourself one. It would be awesome, it would look beautiful. I can totally recommend. So if you liked the video, I would love it. If you would show some engagement, if you would like this video, if you comment, or maybe if you would subscribe, it would make me happy, of course, um, and yeah. So new videos are gonna be coming once a week on different kinds of topics, plants related, but also transitioning to zero waste. These are kind of the topics that I'm talking about. So if you're interested, just subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.